everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and I've got a fun project for you today. Take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this great? Depending upon the colors you use, you're going to see all kinds of different patterns appearing and disappearing, and this is just a beautiful line. To make this quilt, what you're going to need is one packet of two and a half inch strips, 40 of them. We've used Delilah by Doodlebug for Riley Blake. You're going to need some background fabric for this, and we have used one and three quarter yards, and that also includes this first border right here. This outer border out here, we've used one and a quarter yards for that outer border, and it's, uh, it looks like a little five inch border and just makes a great, great quilt. The uh, size of this quilt is 73 by 73. For the backing on this quilt, we've used this cute heart print. It only came in the 40 inch wide fabric, so we had to use four and a quarter yards. We did a vertical seam, but it's just so pretty on there. Makes a great quilt. Again, the quilt is 73 by 73, so it's a real nice size. Now the block we're looking at is this one right here. It's a little nine patch that we've bordered and so it kind of floats in there. It has a really cool look to it. And so let me show you how to do that. First, you're gonna take your two and a half inch strip and you're gonna cut four six and a half inch pieces. Now I'm going to, and those are your, those are your outer borders right here. And those are your four six and a half inch pieces. And so I'm gonna leave my strip long because I may have to use that fold. And, um, and I'm gonna trim off my selvage right here, like this. And then we're gonna count over six and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six and a half. There we go. And remember, you're going to need four of those. So we're going to count over six and a half again. One, two, three, four, five, six and a half. Now for your little nine patch in the middle, you're going to need five two and a half inch squares. So we're just going to take the rest of our strip right here and I'm going to cut two, and, two, two and a half. Because my strip's folded, I'm getting two at a time. So two four, and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut six. You could open it up and just cut five if you want. Five's really all you need. Then you're gonna need some of your background squares. So we're gonna need two and a half inch squares. We're gonna need one, two, three, four. Let me get it over here so you can see it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight background squares. Now you're gonna get um, 16 out of a two and a half inch strip. So you're gonna be able to, out of one strip, you'll be able to do two blocks. So what we have to do now is we have to assemble our nine patch first. So we're gonna do our colors in the corners like this and one in the middle and then two more colors on the outside. And then we're gonna fill that in with our white squares and we're gonna do three rows of three. This is gonna be a little nine patch. A lot of times when we do nine patches, we make strip sets, but because we're bordering it, we need to take good use of all of our fabric and this is just seems like an easier way to do that. All right, so now we're going to sew these together in three rows of three. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to sew um, two, two, and two. I'm just going to go right down this row and sew two, two, and two like this. And I'm going to chain piece them. So I'll just grab the next two like this and lay them right sides, match up my edge. And then two more here. And then I'm going to go back and add my other pieces to the top. So again, I'm going to add my, my color. You know, if you, if you have a, one has to have two colors in a white and one has to have two whites in a color. And if you lay them out just right, then when you get them all sewn together and chain pieced, you'll be able to just lay them right together and sew up those rows. So it looks like mine's going to work. It doesn't always work. <laughs> Sometimes I have to take, cut them all apart because I was like, what was I thinking? All right, so now you can see this is gonna go together nicely as a nine patch. And so I'm just gonna fold these rows over. I'm not even pressing my seams. I'm gonna just start. And then where my seams match up, I'll make that inner seam go to the outside and the outside go to the in, or vice versa, whatever works for you. You just wanna lay those seams flat next to each other. To me, the point of quilting isn't perfect 
um, iron seams, it's a nice flat block. So you just do what works for you. And there's no quilt police. Nobody's gonna look inside your quilt. All right, there we go. I've got that one on there. And then this one over here. All righty. Now we're gonna press this open. It's gonna be nice and flat. And we cut our side pieces on there six and a half inches. And so we're gonna put two of these side pieces on like this, just like that. And then I'll show you how to do the top and bottom. So we're gonna lay these right along the sides and so a quarter of an inch right down the side. And then this one over here, I'm just gonna put this on the opposite side. Now remember too, if you have a, if your seams weren't exactly perfect and you have one of your sides is a little bit longer, put the longer side on the bottom and the feed dogs will take that extra fabric in and make it line up perfectly. All right, now I'm just gonna press this back. Now to do the top and bottom, we have our two six and a half inch strips right here. They're gonna go right here in the middle here and here, and to make those fit and finish our block, we're gonna add a little white square to the corner of each one, like this. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your little six and a half inch strips over to your sewing machine, and we're gonna assemble those units. So a white square, a white two and a half inch square is gonna go on either side of that six and a half inch unit, and we can just sew one, and then sew the next, like this. We'll clip our thread and turn those around and put a white square on the other side, just like that. All righty, one more. Now we're gonna clip these apart. And then these are gonna go on either side of our block. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press mine and just roll them out like that. And then I'll be able to lay that right on that block. So now this is gonna go right on the top here, fit right on there, and this one's gonna fit right on the bottom. So let's sew those, add those to the top and bottom of our block. And I'm going to sew this quarter of an inch right down the side. Now it seems as though I pressed my seams going the same direction as the middle piece, but don't worry about that. When you attach them, just push them the other way, and then when you iron them for the last time, you just make the seams go the way you want. So here's my, this side. Now we'll do the other side right here. And again, I'm just gonna lay that on there. Take a few stitches and make that first seam match up. Yeah, I should have, I ironed the other one. The block ones are ironed out, so I should have ironed these top ones in, but I'm just gonna make them go in as I sew them, and then when I press them, they'll lay the right way. When I press them for the second time. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna press this, and I'm just gonna run my iron over these and roll my seams into the middle there, and then open that up. And we've just made our cute little floating nine patch. Isn't that darling? And so then we're just gonna put these together. When you get ready to put them together, you're gonna just lay them out like this and just sew them straight together. And I'm going to put mine in a four patch here so you can see it a little better, just like that. And let's take a look at what we've got up here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So we used 36 of our 40 strips. Um, if you wanted to make it bigger, you just add more strips. When you get a cool black and white line with this, it's fun to think about what other color you could put in there instead of the white. You know, we used white for our little squares, but what if you did that with a green or a hot pink? It would just be so cute. So this is a really quick and easy block. We hope you enjoy making it, and we hope you enjoy this tutorial from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Mm -hmm.